I'm Nick Johnson, and I'm doing a demographic project on the different races in America. This is my video book report on the most Asian cities in the United States. I hope you like it. The Asian American population's grown a lot lately. Right now, two-thirds of all Asians and 80% of Asian adults are first-generation immigrants, which means the growth rate for the Asian population is increasing fast, which comes with some major political and economic consequences. Now, we should lay the groundwork on exactly what we mean when we refer to Asian Americans. It's a demographic umbrella term for more than 21 million people here in the USA, people originating from 45 Asian origin groups, speaking over 100 languages. You can see on this map the area of the world I'll be referring to when I talk about from which countries Asian Americans are from. And before we go any further, I must say I've done similar book reports on the white, black, and Hispanic populations as well, so I'm not picking on anybody. Almost all the data I'll present is factual. There are very few personal opinions to be presented. So we have a lot to get to and a lot of ground to cover. Let's begin our analysis of the most Asian cities in the United States. We begin our journey of the most Asian cities in America and a little bit of a surprise to me at least, in none other than Plano, Texas. You might be thinking, Plano? I didn't know there were so many Asians in Texas. I go to the rear of the Steer restaurant every week and I don't see any Asians. Well, they're here. Here in Plano, 23% of the population is of Asian descent. That might sound like a lot, but it's nothing compared to some of the California cities we're gonna talk about later. Why are there so many Asians in Plano? Because of the noodle houses. No, that's mean. There's 30,000 Chinese people in Plano alone. It goes back a long way here. After the Civil War, black Americans in this part of Texas were replaced by Chinese men in both agriculture and railroad construction. And in 1943, the Chinese Exclusion Act meant more Chinese could come to this country. Since 1950, a quarter million Chinese have come to the U.S. as college or as graduate students. Many Chinese people here in Plano own their own businesses, and many are doctors, lawyers, shopkeepers, or martial arts instructors. Others work for companies like Texas Instruments or Huai, a high-tech firm. This part of Texas has some really good schools. It's relatively affordable and has comfortable living conditions. Unlike New York City and a bunch of cities in California, which might remind Chinese people of the cramped environment they left behind, Plano provides room to grow. Seems like the word's out among the Asian community. For many of them, these Dallas suburbs are the bee's knees. Morning, Anaconda. Next up is the city of Jersey City here in New Jersey, where the Asian population is about a quarter of the total population. Now, New Jersey has a really super high Asian population to begin with. At 10%, it has the third highest Asian population of all states behind Hawaii and California. However, if you look at the states with the highest growing Asian populations, you're going to see states like Nevada, Arizona, North Carolina, Georgia, and North Dakota. What the... New Jersey's been a melting pot for a long time, and Jersey City is one of the most diverse cities in this state. This chart shows that the country with the biggest Asian representation is the Philippines. In fact, 7% of all of Jersey City is Filipino alone. There's a big part of town here they call Little Manila. The area is lined with Filipino restaurants, doctor's offices, stores, and even a Filipino TV station. They hold a lot of Filipino festivals here too. Now, the Asian populations tried very hard to assimilate into the U.S. culture while also holding on to their own identity at the same time. And the Asian culture has had a profound effect on the U.S. culture, too. Intermarriages between Asian Americans and non-Asians is also growing. This chart shows that females from Asia are far more likely to intermarry with a different race here in the U.S. And the Japanese are the most likely to marry somebody from a different race. Half of all Japanese women marry a white man. Can you believe that? Pakistanis are the least likely to marry outside their own race here in the U.S. Asians have tried very hard to assimilate into the U.S. culture. I mean, before they even come here, they're exposed to all of our stuff. Of course, San Francisco is going to be on this list. More than one in three residents in this city of 875,000 people is Asian. And of that 34%, 23% are Chinese. If you've ever been to Chinatown in San Francisco, that would make sense. This article says the booming tech scene has helped propel the Asian growth here because a lot of high-skilled engineers are of Asian descent. 
and the large Asian population here in San Francisco has had a huge impact on the food culture here too. Though the article notes the sky high cost of rent makes it really hard to open a food business here in San Francisco. Now politics wise, of course, San Francisco's very liberal leaning. However, that begs the question, how do Asians vote and why? Well, going back to the late 90s, Asian Americans were a reliable Republican voting bloc. However, that's flipped of late and in a big way. Today, Asian Americans are twice as likely to vote blue than red. I mean, you would think Asians would vote conservative since they're entrepreneurial, industrious, family-oriented, and self-reliant. And those are conservative values. But today's survey data shows the majority of Asian ethnic groups favor bigger government in the form of increased spending on public programs, higher taxes on the rich, universal health care, stricter gun control, and environmental protections. Overall, Asian Americans say their top issues are the economy, health care, and education. The only problem is they historically vote at much lower rates than other groups, but not because of apathy, because they aren't being targeted as much. They have strong political views, but feel alienated. So there's a big opportunity for either party to make inroads with our Asian friends and neighbors. We're not going very far as we come to our next most Asian city in the U.S., San Jose, where the Asian population is 36%. That's not a surprise when you consider that Asians now outnumber whites in the Silicon Valley. And San Jose is the cultural, financial, and political center of the Silicon Valley. A majority of the Asian population here in San Jose is Indian, Chinese, Vietnamese, and Filipino. At some point very soon, the Asian population is going to pass the Hispanic population as the most populous race here in San Jose. Now this brings up a whole nother point. There's been a lot of talk about how the Hispanic population is growing fast here in the U.S., but recent data reports and analysis from very reputable websites say America's future is Asian, not Hispanic. In the last decade alone, the U.S. has accepted more refugees from Asia than from Europe, Latin America, and Africa put together. And look at this. You probably haven't seen this before. By 2055, it isn't going to be a majority Hispanic population. It's going to be a majority Asian population. And scholarly articles have shown that the future of American growth isn't by repopulating. It's through immigration, people. Here's a look at just how fast the Asian population is flooding into the U.S., this chart shows that 80% of all Asian adults in the U.S. right now are foreign-born. That means the growth is all very recent. And here's another stat. Two-thirds of Asian Americans were born in another country, compared to 37% of Latinos. And finally, it's worth noting, Asian immigrants comprise a significant portion of the undocumented population. An estimated 1.5 million of the 11.5 million undocumented immigrants living in the U.S. were from Asian countries. That's 10% with India accounting for the fastest growing group of undocumented Asian immigrants. 70% of H-1B visas approved last year were for Indian immigrants, making India the second largest Asian country to send workers to the U.S. after China. We're going to stay on the West Coast. I don't think we're going to be leaving the West Coast for the rest of this video, actually. Here we are in Bellevue, Washington, where the Asian population is 37%. Of course, Bellevue is just across the bridge from Seattle, so you could say the Seattle metro area has a large Asian population. Why do Asians think Bellevue is so great? Well, it's home to a large number of technology companies, including Microsoft. And as this chart shows, nearly one in three software engineers are Asian. And technology companies here have been actively recruiting tech experts in Asia to, well, get them over here and quote unquote, acquire upper level management positions that were once held by white Americans. Additionally, Bellevue is considered a wealthy community with a low crime rate, and it has awesome schools. Asian families love good schools. Now, there's a stereotype that the Asian American population is skinny. Is that true? Well, clearly, when you look at this chart, which shows that less than 13% of Asians are obese, which is far below the obesity rate of all the other races. And I don't know how they lay off the bad stuff. I mean, back home, they had the same junk food pushed on them that we had for their entire lives. <laughs> You know what, let's call an expert on Asian food and ask them how Asians are able to keep the weight off. Hello, Eric, can we help you? Hi, can I get two egg rolls? Two egg rolls and what else? Nothing, that's it. Thanks. Back to California we go. 
Here we are in the city of Garden Grove, a community in Orange County right next door to Anaheim. Here, the population is 41% Asian and growing fast. The Vietnamese population is massive here. 28% of the whole city of Garden Grove is Vietnamese alone. Garden Grove has a district called Little Saigon, where there's a ton of Vietnamese-themed restaurants and strip malls. Back in the 70s, this part of Orange County was mostly white, but then the area began to kind of go downhill, and the Vietnamese population moved in and sort of fixed the place up. It's estimated that there are 75 faux restaurants in Garden Grove alone. Can you imagine? After the Vietnam War ended, the U.S. accepted roughly 130,000 Vietnamese refugees. Then over time, about 800,000 more came to the U.S. from Vietnam, crossing over the Pacific Ocean. Many settled in greater Orange County. The Vietnamese populations thrived here. Their anti-communist politics and hard work ethic proved to be a good match for the area. There's a stereotype that Asians play video games a lot. Is that true? No, in fact, it isn't. In fact, the Asian population is the least likely to play video games. The black population plays video games the most at a rate of 2 hours and 20 minutes every single day. Family Computer の Sports Collection Stadium の熱狂そのままに Baseball Right next door is Irvine, where the Asian population is 43%. 12% of Irvine's population is Chinese, 8% is Korean, and 6% is Indian. High-income Chinese investment bankers, entrepreneurs, and factory owners also make up a large number of recent immigrants here, drawn to the friendly climate, the super safe neighborhoods, and the excellent schools. Now another stereotype of Asian families is that they're somewhat wealthier than other races. Is that true? Yes, it is, at least when you measure poverty rates. Only 7.3% of Asian households live in poverty, which is the same rate as white households. But then we have economic downturns like we saw during the pandemic, and the low-skilled Asian workers were hit really hard, like small business owners and restaurant owners and those in the service industry. Here, you can see that half of Asians are employed in management or professional positions. Research has also shown that Asian immigrants are more likely to work in high-skilled occupations than any other group. Hispanics are the most likely to work in low-skilled occupations. Nearly half of Asian Americans hold a degree compared to just 30% for our native-born white population. Asian immigrants hold the fastest growing buying power of any other racial ethnic group in the country today. They've sure come a long way. The earliest Asian immigrants primarily held low-skilled positions in construction and the garment industries. Look at them go now. We're back in the Bay Area again, where we will remain for most of the remainder of our video. Here in Santa Clara, 46% of the population is Asian. It's a city just north of San Jose. 13% of the population is Indian, 7% is Chinese, and 6% is Filipino. Now there's a stereotype that Asian Americans aren't athletic. Their stereotype is lacking the physical ability required to play sports, especially contact sports. Of all major modern American sports leagues, 3% of Major League Baseball players are Asian, 2% of NFL players are Asian, and less than 1% of both the NHL and NBA players are Asian. But when you watch their own sports leagues, it's clear they can dominate their own athletic events, right? Honolulu, of course, is going to have a large percentage of Asian Americans. 52% of Hawaii's capital is of Asian descent. 20% of those are Japanese, 13% are Filipino, 10% are Chinese, and 4% are Korean. Most of the early Asian immigrants to the U.S. came to Hawaii first, and they worked as laborers on the pineapple, coconut, and sugarcane plantations. Many went home, many stayed. At one point in 1920, the Japanese population here was 43% of the whole population. And then, ironically, the Japanese effed this place up during World War II, a mistake they paid dearly for. Don't mess with us, we'll show you. Did you know Asians are good drivers? <laughs> are they, Mappy? Because there's a stereotype that they're not good drivers. But I can see on your chart here that the Native Americans are the most likely to be in a deadly car wreck. Looks like the Asian population is least likely to be in a car wreck. Well done, Mappy. Hey, what about the math and science stereotype, Mappy? Are Asians most likely to be good at math and science? Asian American children are the only race to score far above proficient in math and science testing. <laughs> well, that figures. They're always studying. 
Is there a school subject that Asians are not good at? Physical education. <laughs> okay, Mappy, that's not funny. This is a serious book report. Goodbye. Hey. All right. We're at our last most Asian city, everyone. Yay. We're in Fremont, California, a city of 235,000 people on the eastern side of the San Francisco Bay. Here, the Asian population is 60% and growing so fast. Of the Asian population, 18% are Indian, 18% are Chinese, and 7% are Filipino. 70% of Asians hold a college degree here in Fremont, leading to former council member Bob Bukowski to say, this isn't bring me your poor, it's bring me your rich. <laughs> Can you say that? Anyway, Fremont has the most Asians of all when you measure it on a per capita basis. Well, as we've learned, Asian Americans are the highest income, best educated, and fastest growing racial group in the United States. They're the most satisfied than the general public with their own lives, with their finances, and the direction of the country. And they place more value than other Americans do on marriage, parenthood, hard work, and career success. A century ago, most Asian Americans were low-skilled, low-wage laborers crowded into ethnic enclaves and targets of discrimination. Today, they're the most likely of any major race to live in mixed neighborhoods and to marry across racial lines, and they're slowly becoming a political force to reckon with. For example, Asian families have been fighting hard to keep public school advancement a meritocracy at a time when students are being promoted and advanced based on their skin color alone. Asian families don't like that. Don't promote that kid over mine just because of his race. That's what they're saying at school board meetings anyway. But down the road, as the Asian population grows and extends its culture even deeper in the American mainstream, it'll be interesting to see what happens. It's coming though. In fact, you could say it's already here. I'm turning Japanese, I think I'm turning Japanese, I really think so. Da -da 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 -da. Opa Gangnam style. Oh, 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 Opa Gangnam style. Oh, tell me what you want, what you re 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 want. I want to re 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 want to zig zig. Ah. Hey guys, if you learned something new about America or what it's like to live in America, great. You should think about subscribing and turning on your notifications. You can also click one of these videos or playlists for more. You can also now buy my songs on iTunes and other formats. Click the link in the description. Thanks for watching. And remember, while we all might have different views, we should all be nice to each other and try to make the U.S. a better place in a positive way. This is Sage Nick's manager. This has been a Corner House Entertainment production.